The gold Henry VII half-angel hammered coin, minted during the reign of Henry VII of England from 1485 to 1509, is a significant artifact of the late medieval period. This coin is part of the broader series of angel coins, which were first introduced by Edward IV in 1465. The half angel, as the name implies, was worth half the value of the full angel coin, which was originally set at six shillings and eight pence. The angel coin itself was so named due to its depiction of the archangel Michael slaying a dragon, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil, a common theme in medieval Christian iconography. The obverse of the Henry VII half angel features a depiction of Saint Michael the Archangel standing over a dragon, piercing it with a spear topped with a cross. This imagery was not only religiously significant but also served as a political statement, reinforcing the king's divine right to rule. Around the edge of the coin, the inscription reads Henrik Digra Rex Angel Zfr which translates to Henry, by the grace of God, King of England and France. This inscription highlights Henry VII's claim to the French throne, a lingering assertion from the Hundred Years' War. On the reverse side, the coin displays a ship with a large cross at its center, representing the sovereignty and naval power of England. The reverse also includes the mint mark and a Latin inscription, Percrucem Tuam Solva Numbers XPC Redempt which translates to By Thy Cross Save Us, Christ Redeemer. This reinforces the religious overtones of the coinage, linking the monarchy directly with divine providence and protection. The gold Henry the Seventh Half Angel is a hammered coin, meaning it was produced by hand striking a blank coin with a hammer and anvil. This labor-intensive process resulted in coins that often have irregular shapes and variations in design, making each coin unique. The hammering process was eventually replaced in the 17th century by milled coinage, which used machinery for more uniform and precise production. The craftsmanship involved in creating hammered coins like the Half Angel makes them especially prized by collectors and historians. Finally, the economic context of the Henry VII Half Angel reflects the transitional period from medieval to early modern England. Henry VII's reign marked the end of the Wars of the Roses and the beginning of the Tudor dynasty, a period of relative stability and the consolidation of royal power. Coinage played a crucial role in this consolidation, as it was a primary means of asserting the king's presence and legitimacy throughout the realm. The gold half-angel, with its rich symbolism and careful craftsmanship, is a testament to the blend of artistry, politics, and religion that characterized Henry VII's reign.